nice thing yes. for Rocky. A nice right. victory for Rocky. Right. Are you everyone's choice for boyfriend, husband? <laughs> you, you are the most loved man on the face of the earth. Um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. No, I'm, I'm very happy that people like Jennifer are saying, hey, would you come be a part of this movie? You know, um, it's, a, it's a nice thing when other artists and, and artists that I know I'm a fan of, that I respect, are excited to want to work with me and make a cool film like Second Act, so it's pretty great. The phone call comes, no, this isn't Jennifer. <laughs> Actually, no, the funny thing was, Jen, so we'd, we'd met, we'd known each other um, by way of her show on NBC and my show on NBC, so we'd seen each other cross paths, you know, through, through press and whatnot. And then when I got the, the call that she wanted to talk to me about this movie, I read the script, loved the script, and it wasn't a, a, a phone call, it was a FaceTime. We got on FaceTime because I was on set and she was somewhere not in town. Her schedule was busy, my schedule was busy, and we just chatted. We just chatted about, about the characters and, and the script and everyone involved, and it was very easy to say, yes, I would love to do this, I would love to do this with you, thank you so much. Uh, then we just coordinated the schedule and made a movie. Isn't it nice to be at that point in your career? Because, you know, early on, I'm sure you auditioned for a lot of stuff, but mm -hmm. when someone calls you, that means a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a nice thing when you're getting an incoming call and you don't have to prove yourself, constantly, right. constantly prove yourself. But I almost feel like with acting, there is always something to learn. If you just pay attention to life, there's always something to learn that's applied to the work, to the art, you know? so whether I've got to go on tape and, and you know, actually physically read lines in front of a director or producers or, or, or an actor to say, hey, I'm the right guy for the job, or you, know, you have to have the right words on a, on a, on a phone call. It's like, you, it's constantly something new to discover. Right, describe this guy for those who haven't seen him. Wow, Trey, Trey is, he's just, he's a good guy. He's a, he's a neighborhood guy, he's a guy who loves his girl, wants to start a family, wants to have kids, wants to do all that, and um, he's ready for it, you know, but I think he hadn't paid attention to that fact that his girl wasn't quite ready for it. Right. And, you know, for me, I look at that as better communication, you know, hopefully people can look at the character and look at the relationship, the dynamic between Trey and Maya and say, well, I, I see there was a lack of communication and maybe in my own relationships I want to communicate better. Right. So it's a nice reminder, a nice reminder to try right. and When you're playing opposite Jennifer, it mm -hmm. is, how do I describe her? She's a force of nature, is she, she not? She is, yeah. But when, when you're on set and working with her, there's everything that she's done for years and years and years in front of the camera, you know. Uh, her music career, uh, her producing, her on screen, her philanthropy, everything about it but all of that kind of melts away and goes away when you're on set, looking her in the eye. She's just a girl standing in front of a guy reciting some lines, you know, really truly embodying this character she's playing. So it was a lovely experience and to see truth come out of her performance and then, you know, when Cut is called and we're just back to just laughing about anything else that we do on the day or being grateful. She's, she's grateful for the work and the scene work and, you know, as, as a fan of hers for years, it's inspiring to see that and be a part of it and, you know, con contribute to making her happy and her, her journey. One thing, how bad did it get? People asking how you died in This Is Us. <laughs> did, did you want to just hide out? Or Gino, did you have a stock answer? Gino, the fact that, that now it's been a year and a half. No, no, actually, no, no, like half a year or a year. February, it's been a long time since my character on This Is Us died and you're still asking me, it's like, yeah, it's... It means it was impactful to people. Right. And I think that's good storytelling when you can make an impact on an audience where people still want to talk about it. You're good people. I wish you nothing Thanks, but the man. best. Thank you so much. Really good to see you. Pleasure, Thanks man. so much. Pleasure.